Today, we're going to learn how to find your pictures and videos if they're not being saved in your DCIM file. As I said in the intro, in this video, we're going to be able to look through your files and find out where they're all at so that if you want to transfer them over from your phone to your PC, you'll be able to know how to locate them in the folders on your phone or on your tablet, if it's an Android tablet or phone. So without further ado, we're going to hop right in and we're going to do a screen share and I'm going to share with you how to find these files and uh, pictures and videos. Uh, we're going to show you here, I'm going to type in, you're going to type in files to try to find your uh, file folder. And this is going to show you where your files are at on your device. So as you notice over on the left hand side, you'll see internal storage, you'll see SD card, um, you can see OneDrive, Google Drive, any place that you might have files or folders there. But we're trying to find the path for your files and folders so that when you connect it up to your PC, you'll be able to locate them. So in the search bar at the top, I'm going to type in JPG for JPEG. I'm looking for JPEG files just to see where they're all located. And you'll notice that I have a lot of pictures in here and they're actually stored in different spots. So I'm going to just pick a picture of my wife and myself and see if I can figure out where the path is for that. So I'm going to choose the file, then go down to the bottom, click on more and show details. Now here where it says details, you're going to see where it says the path, internal storage, download, quick share, and it gives the um, name of the file. So it's internal storage, download, quick share. That's where we're going to look for it. So I'm going to go back in here real quick and just click on internal storage. And then we're going to go ahead and click on download. And then we're going to click on the quick share folder. And you'll see that that picture is right there. All right, so now we've found where everything is at. And if you haven't checked out my previous video on how to connect an Android phone to your laptop, you're gonna to wanna to do that because there are some tricky steps in there uh, that Android for some reason puts in so it's not so easy to just connect it up. Uh, you have to do a couple of things to change in your settings to be able to make that easy for you. However, if you've already done those steps, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like when you connect your phone to your laptop, you'll be able to see the file tree and we're going to go ahead and find that picture that we found on the previous uh, screen share that was on a phone. So without further ado, we're going to hop right in and uh, take a look at my PC. All right, so I used my tablet instead of a phone, but it works the same way. I connected it up. You go to internal storage because that is where the files are at. Click on download because that was the folder that we said that that would be in and we got to click on quick share. Once you get in there, you'll see that there are seven photographs in there and you'll see the picture of me and my lovely bride at Snoqualmie Falls in Washington State. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all of you. Talk to you next time. Hey, I hope you've been enjoying these videos. The reason I do these is because I want them to serve you. I want them to be something that makes it easy for you to do things. And whenever you have a problem, uh, if I can make it easier for you, I'm going to go ahead and shoot a video for you so that you can figure out how to do it yourself. And then the next time you can just come back and fix it when you need to. But the reason I do that is because I want to serve people. You see, Jesus Christ came to earth so that he could serve people. And a lot of people don't know that about him. A, a, a lot of people think that, you know, he came to condemn the world and that, you know, Christianity is just this crazy religion. But the truth of the matter is it's really not a religion at all. It's Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came so that he could have a relationship with you and with me. And it's so special. And he came to serve. He didn't come to condemn people. He came to serve people and show them what love was really about. Hopefully this video serves you, and uh, if you would, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe, and thanks for tuning in.